How you doing guys? Welcome back to Coffee and Juice. So previously I did a video on safety concerns or considerations regarding your travel and where you might lodge or stay. So the initial piece um, was focused around phys uh, physical security and also medical concerns is something that I threw in there really quickly for you. So the secondary piece to this is now if somebody accessed your property, how easy would it be for them to rifle through your stuff and take what you got? So the first thing you got to consider is, do you use the hotel or the Airbnb stay safe that they have in the room? And a lot of you are like, yeah, it's, it's pretty secure there. It's a lockbox. But the only dilemma is, is that you centralized your money and your valuables into one area that a criminal who some of them are smart not all of them are stupid just so you understand that much and what that does is that we talk about efficiency if you wanted to break into a place is that all right let's check the safe first let's see if they were stupid enough to put all their money in a safe and if you did really all you need is a crowbar i don't care if it's electronic or it's manual crack that safe open well, once again, if it's bolted down, they could basically unbolt it and they could take it home and they could basically take however long they want to open up your safe. All right. So now secondary to that, and it would be, all right, so, all right, so where do I leave my money then? Because you have to consider you have, uh, you know, housekeeping coming in and out of there. Normally the people that rent to you, they have your keys for obvious reasons. It's their place. So now, all right, where do you keep your money? So what I would do is that there's an expression that you want to hide things openly or in plain sight. So there are things that are out there, if you go on Amazon, where, like as an example, they sell like a book. It looks like a book, but inside it's a safe. So now if you bring two of your books and that book, and you basically put them in your Airbnb, unless the criminals are watching this right now, it's going to be overlooked because remember the mind of a thief or a criminal they're going to be processing and they're going to be under some some stress while they're doing the act it's going to be natural uh, so they they might overlook like okay those are books that's a tv okay where's the safe where's their luggage because there's going to be a process that goes on and they're going to feel like time is moving very very fast when they're looking to steal from you so you might want to hide things in plain sight. It doesn't have to be a book. They have like shaving cream cans where if you got, you know, a couple of thousand on you, you want to roll it up. That's where you secure it in the bathroom, et cetera. You, you, once again, I'm just opening a particular, you know, train of thought that you might want to have when you travel. So secondary thing is that if we talk about something called access control, all right? So now when it comes to access control, that means that somebody already circumvented your security. They're already in. So now how would you know if somebody is in? Some people might say, well, you know, you can set up a camera. You could do this and you could do that. Of course, technology is on your side. But once again, that could be cumbersome because you got to set up an electrical and you might only be there for X amount of time. So there's something called cardinal points. Now, you, there's two philosophies here that you're very, very neat when you stay in a place. That means you know exactly where everything is and you take pictures of it. Meaning that if your laptop, not, I don't know if you'd wanna leave your laptop, but let's say you left your laptop. And then that's another thing that people talk about is that how do you know somebody didn't get on your computer? So you're gonna take pictures of exactly where everything is, right? And then what you would do is when you come back to your room, due to the fact that you operate in this kind of way and not in a laissez-faire kind of way, is that you would know if your stuff would be moved. Because once again, the process of a thief or a criminal, he's going to be, he has to look around because he's looking for pay dirt. So naturally, you're going to move things. And remember, I'm not saying this is tradecraft for uh, espionage, but unless the person is really, really good at what they do, they might come in there first and take pictures, okay? Because when they leave, they need to set it up exactly how it was when they left.
But now I don't want you to let's not go too too deep into the rabbit hole here. But for the commoner, your tr- this is a travel thing. This isn't warfare channel. It's not what I'm trying to do. You have to you have to say okay if I'm super neat, I'll be able to know that things were moved. And then there's another philosophy that you keep your room very very messy, which could disorient the people because they may not know where to look. So there's two different philosophies or schools of philosophies regarding if somebody was able to access your Airbnb, your apartment, your condo, etc. So think of it like this. They're already in. Where did you centralize your money? Where did you keep your valuables is important because remember you got staff, you got that common criminal who got in. So how easy is it to find what you have is a consideration. And then once again, secondary to that, as I wrap it up, something called cardinal points, the directions of objects that you place in a room, because someone might naturally like just move a picture frame, like to the left. But you know, since you took your pictures and you know your setup, that somebody was in this room that wasn't supposed to be. Okay. And then also something that I do, and I'll give you, not that it's, not that it's a pro tip, but I think people do this anyway. If I'm staying in a hotel for five days, and they hate this, by the way, I say, listen, I don't want anybody in my room. And I put that sign on the door, and nobody should have came in my room. So once again, if you have to layer your security, and we talk about infrastructure, we talk about physical security, and just these little tips, obviously these tips are taught in a higher school or higher placing, is that these are things that are going to layer your security when you stay in a place. And once again, if you're nomadic, you're a backpacker, you have to have set guidelines and protocols because every venue that you stay in is gonna be different. You don't have the ability to advance it. You don't have the schematics. You you may not have have that type of intel or that type of reconnaissance when it comes to where you're staying. So think of it like that. So you, you break these things down. So you have the initial video, which I recommend that you watch. And then as we start to push the envelope to make you a little bit safer and smarter, this is what I got. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to build it. And um, once again, I hope you have a great day. And always think tactically, think safely, and you'll have a better time. All right? Coffee and juice. We'll talk soon.